hidden away in the mountains of the north coast of the Dominican Republic is El Limon Waterfall. You can take this truck down to one trail or start on horseback from here. This is a longer and more difficult trail from here. There are various trails for horses and hiking depending on where you start. We rode a pretty steep trail, but I didn't realize that until about halfway through our ride. Our starting point is across from this picturesque church. Then our ride takes us through the thick tropical forest. Our guides walk alongside our horses, which seems weird, but I'm told this is tradition. Along the way, our guides point out local plants, including coffee and cacao. Off-duty horses are grazing between rides. My guide makes kissing sounds to encourage my horse along the trail. The smoke is fresh roasted cacao from this local farm. It is absolutely a beautiful day in Dominican Republic. We could not wish for better conditions for our ride. There are a few steep inclines on this trail. For less experienced riders or kids, request one of the lower trails accessed by a short bus ride to the horses and lower trails near the river like these riders. This is the gentler, lower trail along the river, leaving the waterfall. Each rider has a local guide and helmets are required. Be sure to bring a small backpack for water, sunblock, and a towel if you decide to go swimming. After our 40 minute ride, we leave our horses to rest. Initially, this is a light walk along the river. Then we reach the short hike down the steep, muddy steps to the waterfall. This is the point of no return. If you are out of shape or worried about the stairs, stay up here and enjoy the view of the river. I recommend heavier sole water shoes with tread. The water shoes that I wore were woefully inadequate for this trail. Due to lower than average rainfall, my guide shows me how low the water level is and explains in a combination of Spanish and English that the waterfall is much smaller and more narrow than usual due to the lack of rainfall. This natural pool is cool and refreshing. It feels about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. A few people climb up the rocks for cliff jumping into the pool below. The water falls in a steady cascade from 40 meters. That's 130 feet from the top of Sierra de Samana. Some of the rocks are visible, but I have no idea how deep the water is actually below the waterfall. Unfortunately, I do not have a good explanation for the cloudy turquoise blue color of the water. My Spanish is just not that good yet. Do you know why this water is cloudy blue? Let us know in the comments below. This far into the water, I definitely could not reach the bottom. Our guides stay with us at the waterfall, offering to take photos and keep our backpacks safe and dry while we swim. We quickly dry off during the hike back to our horses and ride the same trail back to our starting point. Two and a half hours total round trip and we really didn't spend that much time in the water. We are ready for lunch. Included with our tour, we have fresh leafy green salad, locally sourced fruit salad, fried chicken, pork, rice and beans, plus this tropical view.
Thanks for joining me at El Limon in the Dominican Republic.